Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To enter your employee's time worked by using the weekly timesheet window, click the Create icon and select the weekly timesheet link. The first option at the top of the page is to choose a name from the drop-down list. To the right of the name selection is a drop-down list that lets you choose the week for which you want to record time for the selected employee or subcontractor. The current week will be displayed by default, however you can select from any week from one year prior to one year in the future. You will also see the total hours displayed at the top right hand side of the page. This display will update with each entry you make to show the total hours entered. At the top of the activity list you will also see a print icon and a gear icon. The gear icon lets you choose which days of the week are displayed in the activity list. There are three optional items that may appear in the activity list when you enter time information. The first optional item is service. If you offer services and use them to enter time, you will be given the option to choose the service for each line. This is used for recording what people were doing in timesheets and for billing for those services. The second optional item is a class selection. If you don't use class tracking, this option will not appear. The final optional item is location. This option will be shown if you have location or department tracking turned on. This is helpful if you operate multiple business locations. The other options for the activity list shown on each line are the customer name, the description, and the billable checkbox. From the customer name drop-down list, choose the customer that you are billing for this activity if needed. Next, select the service, class, and or location associated with the selected activity. The description field will be populated with the information contained in the description of the activity. If there is no default description, you can enter the information into the description field. The billable checkbox will be selected by default and is followed by a text field that will display the hourly rate that you charge. A taxable checkbox is displayed if you are allowed to charge tax on time activities. The rest of the line is taken up with the days of the week. Enter the hours associated with the activity for that line. Repeat as necessary for each activity entry. To add more lines, you can click the Add Lines button in the lower left corner. To clear all lines of any entry, you can click the Clear All Lines button. To record a weekly timesheet for the selected individual that is exactly the same as their previous week's timesheet entry, you can click the Copy Last Timesheet link at the bottom of the page to automatically duplicate their previous timesheet. After you have completed your entries, click the Save and Close or Save and New button to save your work and either close the page or open a new blank weekly timesheet. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.